Sports, Lance Tango in Atlanta. So Talk Master joins us live. I've got a question for you. Yep. Did you at any time use blood doping to survive over 40 years on talk radio in the same in the same town? No, but Belinda does fix me Bloody Marys quite often. <laughs> well, there's a secret. <laughs> no, it's not a secret. Yeah, you do the, talk. Uh, the, the Bloody Mary mix is right in there in the studio. Any hints on what you've got planned for your final show today? Well, no, not not really, Scott. The one thing I want to do is not mention that guy up in Washington one time today. And I don't care about Lance Armstrong, so that won't be a part of the show either. Is there anything you wish you had done on your show in the past 40-some-odd years that you haven't? Gosh, good question. I can't think of a thing, Scott. I mean, uh, I've always been pretty much of a loose cannon. I've kept the suits at the other end of the building nervous by pretty much doing anything that hmm, I wanted to do on the uh, on the show. A lot of people have wondered, how do you know where that line is to be outrageous and be allowed to come to work the next day? Well, uh, maybe the legal trading helped there a little bit. Okay, uh, that did come in handy. I, I, yeah, I knew what the law said about what can and cannot be done on the air. But, okay, the first day I was on the air, the president of uh, Cox Broadcasting, or Cox Radio, anyway, Nick Tregoni, you remember him? Sure. He walked into the studio, and first time I'd ever met him, and he said, just minutes before I went on the air, he said, okay, here are the rules. And I thought, oh boy, here we go. And he said, you can say anything about anybody, right up to and including me. It stops with me. And those were my marching orders, so I ran with them. Well, I'd say you hit the mark, Neil, and this isn't exactly goodbye. We'll still hear from you in daily commentaries at 845. Are you going to be doing any talk shows in the future? Well, I'm going to be substituting for Herman Kane. I'll be his regular fill-in. Uh, I'm also going to be doing fill-in work, substituting for Sean Hannity, sometimes when he's gone. So I, uh, the sports bus is equipped for broadcast, so I suspect that uh, I'll be doing a lot more shows here than, than people might believe at the present time. Well, that will be our game, but this morning, Neil, we'll listen for you to make a history after 8.35, my friend. Uh, 750 Delta Bravo, your clearance on request. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Have okay, a good pal. Have a good morning, old friend. Thank you, sir. for excellent talk radio you've infuriated me and caused me to cuss at you and bleep myself off the air but you have been the backbone of this show uh and of uh, for 20 years here at the mothership and however many years i've been in syndication six eight something like that who knows 10 10 oh 10 years this and is time it flies when you're holy shit Are you so really for the going? callers i uh, hate Don't me go, love man. me agree disagree never would have happened without you and then that leaves the listeners oh, and, what uh, i have been receiving the letters from the listeners all week long oh, Neil, well, for please a couple don't weeks go. Now, about the differences that uh, i've made in in your life and uh, how much you've enjoyed listening to the show this ain't i'm going to carry the thoughts and the feelings in those letters with me wherever I go from this point on. Oh my God, Neil. And I love each and every one of you. I, I mean, love you. The only reason I'm leaving this oh. is because it is so time restrictive. Oh, Neil. And Donna and I have I'll many, many time. places to go. I we both share this passion oh. for travel. That just doesn't work well when you're doing a radio show. That dog is like a lucky that Jim woman. Turner guy in Orlando where I never left my house anyway, I'd still be on the air. So uh, uh, all I can say is I never dreamed when uh, I crassly took advantage of that tragic suicide that this was something that was going to last 42 years. Never let a tragedy get by. Always. And you people 
uh, Royal, Belinda, and Christina, and Mark Morgan, who hired me against the best advice of all of the people who were working for oh, you. You hired that jerk! And who said uh, that? listeners in the comments, who? you who have, have said that about the you? absolute world to me. I love you. I love Stick you. up with me. I Stay with you. me on Twitter. And we'll be back to close this thing. I want to stick with Stay you, Neil. You. It's the end of a broadcasting era. The last Neil Bort show. No! Oh, Neil. Damn. What in the hell am I going to do now? Who's going to who's gonna entertain me at lunchtime? What am I going to do? I'm gonna have it that old damn Herman Cain. He ain't, he ain't half the man Neil Bortz was. Damn, Neil Bortz. He's an institution here in Atlanta. Y'all don't understand. Y'all's a bunch of Yankees. Y'all don't understand. That man, he he's a foundation of our soul here. God almighty damn, what am I gonna do? I love you, Neil. Except for Stephen. I love you. But Stephen's more of like a like a sex type thing. You're more like love. Like how you love. Like how the Lone Ranger loves Tonto. I love you, Neil. You opened my eyes. You made me see the truth. I'll never forget it. Damn. He's a lucky man. He's gonna have the boards bus. I wish somebody would commit suicide so I could get their job, and then I could have my own boards bus, the Michael bus. It'd be like me and me and uh, well, okay, I ain't married, but damn it, I can't help it. I ain't found the right woman yet. Goodbye, Neil. Hey, MF, my friend. AMF, my brother. AMF. Borts. Bye-bye.